Damn guys up. Got him. Okay, what's this way? Shifting fragment, lots of shifting fragments in this place. <laughs> he just chilled there. Oh, I was like, where did he go? He's like invisible. Uh, look at this guy, he's like fucking stuck in the corner. Ow. What the hell just hit me from over here? Die already. God damn. So much health. <clears throat> Do I have to go up for anything? No, nah, he's just chilling up there. Alright. This area looks newer. Is it from the upper floors? Good night. Collapsed department. There's something behind that his barrier. <laughs> it's a platform. Amazing. Whoa, don't jump again. Uh, 
All right. New cleanse point or control point. I must control all the points. Uh Oh. No. Um. Oh, okay. Huh. Well, I can try to make it over to I can try to make it to that one, I guess. Okay. Easy peasy. What's this? Nothing. Okay. All right. Well, that's Great, I guess. I was hoping this was gonna be something. Alright. Zoom back over. It's uh, not what I want to do. Like, my only guess is to jump over there, but I know I'm not going to be able to make that. I know for a fact that will be a failure of a jump. Um, okay. Destroy more window, please. There we go. Shooting does nothing, but when you throw shit through it, that's that's the real deal. To whoever finds this, I am con I am containment process designer Gene Gibbs, and I'm writing this to document the largest building shift to ever occur. Here are the facts: a considerably large section of the containment sector, including the process. Processes and protocols office, our research facilities, and a fair chunk of the fire break have been yanked down to a chasm that reaches far below lobby level, I think. It was a violent shift, and I regret to report several casualties. Injuries were sustained by all, but many of us, myself included, are still mobile. We've set up a base camp and started tri triaging. There are little supplies. We explored our surroundings and found caverns of all things. Maybe we're in some sort of cave threshold like the quarry. Wherever we are, we're not the first. There are some rusty power cores, all lights, signs, infrastructure. What was this area used for? Why did they seal it off? Why have we never heard of it? More importantly, how are we going to get out? Dun dun dun. That's not what I meant to look at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All 
armor covering them, evade, shield strength, and that's new, I think. Kiev summary. A series of reverberating sounds observed in downtown Kiev with no clear point of origin. The event was witnessed by the city's general public. Mental and physical symptoms were reported, including aphasia, sleep paralysis, and excess blank in the reported individuals. Due to the brief nature of the event, overseas bureau agents were not able to respond while it was active. Immediately upon arrival, agents collected audio recordings taken by local witnesses. All bureau monitoring stations located at global junctions of acoustics, acoustic amplification were directed to monitor any auditory events of similar pitch, wavelength, and duration in an effort to trace echoes or epicenters. In the following week, similar cases were reported from both various amateur sources and bureau stations in major cities across the globe. The subsequent events diminished in volume and frequency per each occurrence. Event is believed to be generated by planar fiction or friction, though this is not confirmed. See file 71849062 for full hypothesis. Take a little sippy. Beep beep. Upgrade. Entropic echo corrupted sample. Nope, I need remote thoughts. Now I need more fragments. I just get a little buddy and he has a Lewis gun or a Louis gun, sorry. Lewis gun, Louis gun, whatever. Alright, come with me, dude. Let's go save the oldest house. Get him. We got another buddy, buddy. Give me that health. alive but he's I don't know if he's really like doing all too much <laughs> come on ass wipes 
Come on over. Some health. So foggy from enemy death. <laughs> Got him. Oh, bastards. Bastard. Where'd he go? Fucking them up. You're still alive, buddy? Hell yeah, you got lots of health. I got you, homie. Uh. Give me all these pieces. I don't know, is it? It is, don't worry. Man, there could be collectibles in any one of these rooms. That's kind of... Do I say I to check every room for notes and stuff? Come on, man. assume they're not just gonna fucking put collectibles all over this place. I'm just gonna keep on... Keep on keeping on. The gentleman's room. Oh! Uh! Okay. Oh, floating collectible. Computer program. Dear House of Representatives, my husband Francis read an article before he died about how the universe was really just a computer program. He believed it. I thought it sounded silly, but now I think he was right. Francis was hit by a car a few months ago, a drunk driver. I don't think it was supposed to happen. My neighbor's son, Jeremy, broke one of our windows with a football a week before Francis died. Francis yelled at Jeremy for it. He was a bit he was a bit harsh. This is important because I see Jeremy on his computer. 
<clears throat> through their living room window. He's on it all the time. His mother says he's a computer whiz. I think Jeremy is operating the computer program and he changed the universe so that the driver would hit Francis. He did it to get back at Francis for yelling at him. Is there a way to change the computer and make Francis come back? I have some money if it's expensive. I don't know how these things work. I don't care if Jeremy gets in trouble or not. I just want Francis to come home. Francis and I were very happy together. I can feel him not being here and I know it's not right. Sincerely, Stephanie Miller. Keep getting lots of weapon mods. Projectile speed 57, 58. <clears throat> Damage while low on health, 95, 86, that one's better. <clears throat> Alright. See, this one's gonna be better. What's nine? Ten. Eighteen energy cost. Twenty-one. Okay. Think I think that's it. I don't think I can go any more. Interesting. <laughs> What's in the girls' bathroom? Nothing. <laughs> Dude's bathroom is so cool. <laughs> Okay, nothing. Okay, here we are. Higher up. Weapon mod. <laughs> Destroyed the door on the bathroom, or damaged it at least. Beep, beep. Nothing in here, no collectibles or anything. Alright. Got a cleanse point. Do that in a second. Recording. A 
Fon Doucet. It's a miracle of God. Yeah, I think I need to upgrade. Get that next power that I didn't choose last time. I, I mean, I hope I get both powers at least. Shift account part two. Gibbs reporting in. It has been eight days since the collapse and still no sign of any rescue efforts. The Bureau is either completely unaware of our situation or in are incapable of helping us. Or maybe it's intentional. How many times have we seen the Bureau not give two shits about its own handy... Ha or uh, hard-working staff when they go missing in this place. How many times did we let it slide thinking, oh, at least it wasn't me. Too many, I'm ashamed to admit. Anyway, there have been some developments. Strange crystals have begun growing through the walls. They seem to block some corridors, but not others. The path of the caves is always left open, but we're not sure why. Luckily, the crystals keep out of the astral spike. One's been hounding us for days. Uh, John, Nikolay, Nikolai, whatever, and Sarah went to try and find a radio. But never get out of my way. TV notification that you're going to turn off. Where did I put the da damn remote? Ugh. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We think Spike got them. I think it's hunting us. So Doug says spikes only exist in the astral plane. So what the fuck is it doing here? Uh, if we get out of here, I'm hiring a lawyer. These are unsuitable working conditions. I mean, if you got a lawyer, I feel like they'd just be like... I mean, I feel like the, the department would probably be like, we're not letting anyone in here to see our work, so you can try and sue us, but they're not going to know what they're suing us for. Oh, is that something else? No, that was just... Okay. Claim the control point. Did I get enough tool thing to do nothing? No, need remote thoughts still. Remote thoughts are needed. Mm -mm. Can't do nothing with that. Woo 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 woo. That did. That seems unsafe to go through that door. Oh. Elevator to go up. Or we can try the door. Huh. Decisions. Decisions. I don't... I feel like if I do that, <coughs> the door is going to close down. I'm gonna go see what this does real quick. Oh. Okay. So that's the altered item. Looks pretty secure. Um, okay. Transit engine. Hold on. So does this door just go into that room? Ability. I don't have no plans. Guess we'll see what that camera's all about in a second. 